Meanwhile, frustration mounting for Republicans in Sacramento as bills that would require tougher penalties for fentanyl dealers continue to stall in committee. Also, they're upset over the passing of a Senate bill that they feel violates our Second Amendment rights. Here to comment is Senate Minority Leader Brian Jones. Brian, always great to see you. Happy Friday to you, sir. Thank you, Rafer. So, uh, first of all, let's talk about Senate Bill uh, number two. And that's one of the things you're very much yeah. upset about here. So let's make sure our viewers understand what that is. Well, I, I didn't, I, you know, as you know, I don't always speak on bills on the floor. Uh, you know, there's 40 senators and we had several hundred bills to work on this week. And, uh, and I had no intentions to speak on this bill either. But as the, and this bill makes it more difficult to get a CCW, a concealed carry uh, permit in California. It, uh, lowers the number of places you can if you have a ccw already where you can take it and makes it more uh, onerous and re really uh difficult to get and they're already difficult to get for for your viewers that aren't maybe i'm not familiar with the ccw process that's a process that a, a californian goes through with the local sheriff's department to gain a permit to be able to carry a, uh, a concealed carry firearm uh and, and that requires a, a permit. And so you have to go through a process with the sheriff's department to do that. And it's already onerous, rigorous. It takes several months to be able to do background checks, interviews, the whole thing. And so this bill was to even make that more difficult and restrict the areas where the firearms can be carried. Okay, great. I know I'm going to vote no on the bill. There's lots of bad parts of this bill. It's likely unconstitutional. But as my Democrat colleagues on the floor continued to raise arguments that had nothing to do with this bill over and over and over on the floor and then for one of my colleagues to stand up and say that there's a gun addiction hmm. in california uh rayford what happened was i i you know i i popped oh. and um we have a fentanyl addiction in california and my democrat colleagues in the legislature have killed republican bills uh, the, 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 the Democrats on the Public Safety Committee, they've killed Republican bills, they've killed Democrat bills, they've let very few bills dealing with fentanyl get to the floor of the Senate. And when we have 114 Californians dying every week because of fentanyl, uh, I just had to raise that as a concern to my colleagues on the floor that while they're arguing for this unconstitutional gun bill, they're doing nothing about fentanyl. Yeah, and uh, you're right about this uh, This bill possibly being unconstitutional. Uh, it's going to restrict uh, firearm carriers in several locations, buses, trains, hospitals, medical offices, uh, areas where alcohol is served. Um, as far as the fentanyl thing, uh, the fentanyl bills, I should say, yesterday um, f uh, we, we had uh, uh, Mr. Gallagher from Yuba City on. Nine bills did get passed, but only one of them would be for tougher penalties against uh, fentanyl dealers. But the stipulation is they had to have enough fentanyl to kill half a million people. That's a, yeah. And, and that, that, we had that same bill in the Senate. Uh, it's basically a kilo, uh, a sentencing enhancement for somebody that has a kilo of fentanyl, which is enough to kill a half a million people. And that bill died in public safety in the, on the Senate side. Fortunately, the assembly got it out. At least that's something. Um, you know, they'll pat themselves on the back for doing a good job and being responsive to the community and the public. But, you know, your, your, your previous story to this, I can't even imagine. Um, well, yes, I can imagine because my son had a best friend that died by drug suicide in high school or just shortly after high school. And so I know those parents. I were friends with those parents. I've had these conversations with these parents. And it is heartbreaking to know that a, a vibrant young person who did not make the, the choice to, to end up dead on drugs, that's a, a long process to the time they get to that point. But can you imagine being that dad and having to walk into that hotel room, see your daughter and your grandchild there? It's unbelievable to me that we can't be more, pro that our legislators will not be more proactive on this issue in California. It's unacceptable. And your viewers and the voters of California need to not let these legislators off the hook. All right, Senate uh, Minority Leader Brian Jones, we appreciate you coming on. Have an enjoyable Memorial Day weekend, sir. Great. Thank you, sir.